Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be talking about the new Torbjorn nerf that is going to be taking place on Xbox One as well as PS4. This new nerf is going to change his turret's damage and it's going to be reducing it by 30%, which is actually a pretty big nerf, uh, you know, taking away 30% of Torbjorn's turret damage. Now his left click and right click are still going to remain unchanged. Now this change is only going to be on PC. I'll go ahead and show you guys the official post if you guys want to check that out. So it just says that um, anywhere between mid to late July, it's going to be uh, taking place. And again, it's only on Xbox One and PS4. The PC uh, version of this will not actually be taken into consideration uh, as far as right now. But uh, a lot of people have been voicing their opinions on not only Reddit threads, but also other threads, just talking about Torbjorn in general. So I figured I'd give you guys my thoughts on it, and you guys can let me know how you guys feel about it. I think majority of players that want to take the game serious are playing on PC. That's not to say console players won't be playing ranked and taking the game seriously. But the thing is, is I honestly feel Torbjorn is too good. Uh, for the amount of skill required for him. And he actually does more damage than McCree with his left click. If you guys didn't know, Torbjorn does not have any drop off with his left click. Now, as far as the damage nerf goes, uh, the 30% less damage on, of course, this is just the turret, is still warrants him to see viable play. Some people were like, wow, Torbjorn's not gonna see any more play. 30% damage reduction, it is pretty big, but the thing that I think makes Torbjorn so good is he out DPS's McCree at longer ranges, and that's just, that's if you are, you know, of course, landing your shots, but the thing is, it's really easy to actually land your shots as Torbjorn once you get used to it. Uh, it's kind of like Hanzo, it does kind of have an arc, but there's no damage drop off, and that's kind of insane, especially since Torbjorn, close up, he can technically do 300 points of damage if he right clicks once. He also has a higher magazine count than uh, McCree. So there's a lot of things that I just feel like make Torbjorn just a little bit better than he should technically be. Um, as far as his damage nerfs, um, so if you didn't know, I actually um, will be doing a in-depth guide stats on everything. And uh, we actually already covered uh, Torbjorn. I'll link it down below in the description box if you guys want to check out the full stats. But at level 1, his turrets uh, do 14 points of damage. And even at level 2, at level 3, it's still the same amount of damage. It just has a faster fire rate. Now, um, it's currently at 14 damage, and it's going to be taking it to 9.8, which is pretty much going to round off to 10 anyways. And uh, again, at level 2, and when you use multicore, it's just going to go ahead and shoot faster. Now, how do I feel about these nerfs? I mean, you'll see that there are multiple times where I will be able to... Look, look, look at this. Look at that. I just destroyed that Genji. Uh, at that range with Torbjorn, there's a hundred to zero to a freaking uh, Genji with just like the level one turret right there, and I just left click and I hit him once. I feel like that is a little bit OP uh, simply because look, look at this Reaper going in. Okay, I can just go ahead and right click him. He's at like one HP, and then all I have to do is follow him, right click again, and that was hundred to zero. I feel like Torbjorn is way way too easy for the amount of uh, value that you get for him, and that's coming from me. And I don't even really play Torbjorn at all. I feel like his skill ceiling and skill floor are very, very low. Minus, I guess, that you can kind of factor in the uh, bullet arc. But I still think that Torbjorn is OP. I don't ever feel like anything that has a pet that auto-attacks, uh, which essentially a turret is. It's basically a pet, and if you, you know, uh, boil it down, it's just a, a pet that doesn't move. I don't feel like those heroes should be viable ever. Uh, in in competitive scene, and he's not viable in competitive scene. Don't get me wrong, but eventually he still like once in a while you'll see a Torbjorn pop up, and he'll do like the most damage on a team. And even though uh, Torbjorn is only good essentially against like people that are playing quick play matches, that's a majority of players. So the way I see that is that uh, he's just a little bit too strong, especially against for the casual players. He just offers way too much for you know how much skill he takes. Now. In my personal opinion, if you want to know my thoughts on the nerf, I think he should be nerfed way, way harder. I mean, Widowmaker took way more skill and she got multiple nerfs and they're just changing his uh, damage uh, on his turret. Like his left click, is, you guys saw, I was able to kill the uh, Reaper close range and then I was also able to kill the Genji at far range. And of course, at close range, you can just right click on people. Look, I just, I just built that cheeky turret over there. He, he just wasn't ready to go in. But um, again, I know at high level, he, he can be countered really easy. And that's good, but the thing is, a lot of the casual players are still probably going to complain about it because he's still really strong. And I know this only affects console because it's a little bit harder to aim on a controller for some people. For me, like personally, when I played Halo, I found it way easier to control the uh, controller 
uh, due to aim assist using a uh, controller. It was just easier for me to aim. Now this game doesn't have auto aim, and the turret seriously 360s and instantly locks on you, like super fast. I feel like the range is too long, it shouldn't lock on as fast as it does. But uh, those are my thoughts on it. I think that um, even though like on console, you don't have that ability to type, I still feel like it's just a little bit too strong. That's just the way I see it. Um, I think they should have lowered his uh, range, but uh, I still think he's still OP uh, for the amount of skill that's required to actually play him. But uh, yeah, like I said, just updating you guys. And again, this is only on the console. Uh, a lot of people are still complaining about it. They want this changed on PC as well. There's no telltale sign if they're going to be changing on PC uh, as of now. But uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you think that he deserves the nerf or do you think that he's okay on PC? For console, it's already going to be happening. I think it's, it's a great addition because... He just doesn't require enough skill to uh, validate as far as how much uh, value he can offer to the team. But that's my thoughts on him. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.